opening map of this series, but we know what to expect on Ancient. We want to know what the hell goes down on Overpass. Well, maybe we'll, we'll find out why Mirage was the quicker, cleaner death. And we'll find out why they were, for some reason, worried about Team Spirit's unearthed power on Overpass. And at the very least, of course, Team Spirit did float Overpass versus Na'Vi to the Decider, which means they should be prepped. They got something in store. Let's see what it is. Zontix down at the B site with Magix. Sure enough, just like Yanko would have predicted. And Magix inside of the smokes. He will be found by Halzerk. Quick swing out from Graffiti. And the kills are coming through for complexity quite nicely. Only a couple days ago, we had a solid showing from Grim and Elige on this map in particular. They'll be looking to tap into that ability of those two stars. And with a pistol under wraps, so it seems, strong start. It is, yeah. It, it is interesting, I think, the conversation when you go to a new map in a series like this is like, for unfamiliar people watching, it, it's like, okay, why wouldn't it just simply be a 2-0 smash? But uh, the map can really completely change your odds as a roster, as a team. Like, everything comes down to the map. And uh, when we saw, for example, uh, Mongols play, it was their... Inferno was... they just couldn't lose. Yeah, it was Inferno they couldn't lose, but it was... Oh, shoot, ruining my own point here. But they just played a map, or a, a series, this tournament, where... Oh, it was versus Spirit, actually. And then the second map was um, Ancient, and I thought that they would actually come back. At that point, Spirit had only played, like, three maps. They had lost an average of one round to the first in the first three maps they played, but then I knew when they went to Ancient that um, uh, that uh, uh, the Mongols would be ready for it, and that they and they ended up getting 14 rounds. They didn't win the map, but I think the analysis around the game was simply that well, yeah, of course we're going to get crushed next map, but uh, that's not really how it works. I think for the play in the players' heads, uh, that's for sure. Not, with, not at this level of preparation. Um, yeah, you can get rocked, but at the same time, when it comes to complexity and what they can do on overpass, just because they had off form and weren't playing as good as we've seen the um, uh, last map on Ancient, doesn't mean that it's going to simply spill over and overpass, which is much more known, ter known territory for them. Complexity have tiptoed their way through the minefield, seeing no threat at A. That five-man B stack was hopeful, but feels like they're coming upstairs a little too late. Go ahead, take the risk, run through smoke, jump through fire. Let's get crazy. A boost over the wall maybe could catch a kill. And post it up. But they've been deterred. So as Complexity get the ball rolling early here on this T side of Overpass, you know, Complexity, I think, you can't forget that their CT sides in this map particularly always rock solid. Yeah. We've seen a many Complexity CT side come back. For a team that loves to play the map this frequently, I feel like it's where they've kind of left their biggest marks on the best opposition throughout the last couple of years as we've seen them succeed and oh fail my God. up and down their results but overpass always a place complexity happy to take a series i think it's actually better that they get a chance to take spirit down here versus navi yesterday i think that complexity will let us learn more about team spirits overpass in particular and anybody who's challenging spirit i think should be looking at this map as a possibility mm. So through the pistols with no problem. 2-0 to start. It would be great to one day be able to talk about uh, Chopper as a great IGL because he has yet to... He's got his flowers from us, and like tier 2, and some people have been watching the game for a long time. Seven majors uh, lined up for him in his career. It's already been a great career, but... Um, top 4, a top 8. Yeah, but it's just he doesn't want to be at the sort of the Jerry tier of like, you know he's good, but he's not getting the chances sure. to play with the best players and keep them, right? I guess I honestly would have been Chopper tier if it wasn't for other people I could compare him to in yeah, the same the, level. Um, in the last couple of years where I think Chopper has been set up better on Team Spirit, 
and some of the other regions IGLs. Guns look good here in the hands of Spirit, uh -huh. and poor Elige gets flashed in, but dropped instantly. Chopper front bathrooms, looking for his trade on Donk, who what dies with hell? nothing. But uh, nobody's keeping eyes on Chopper, that third layer of the bathroom setup coming out from Spirit. Now here comes Grim, trying to press out and combine with Halzer. Good on him to kill Chopper. Doesn't let his guard down. Shiro still just in the middle of it all. No! I'd be so pissed. And he gets away. Holzer tries to chase it down through the fire. He shall go. Real chance still. Oh my god, with the timing on that smoke, there was no reason to even fight it. They could have just, just waited, but Grim couldn't know about the timing of it. It was so... It was such an obscure moment. I don't even know if that was CT or T. Missed the bomb. Okay, uh, he's got to go grab it. This is pre precious seconds that have come off the round. And now there's no chance at all to play. Going back to save his Halzerk. Half HP. And he's walked by Zontix. I don't know if Zontix will be able to find out that he's gone this way, but... Mate. Oh, no. After no, no, time. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that would have been a pretty sick find from yeah. Zontix, but, man, that would have been very sad for complexity. Oh, my gosh. Zontix got a little taste of violence there. Nice attempt from Halzer to bring it back, but ultimately it's just this this bathrooms fight that Shiro survived forever. In the smoke, fighting long to kick it off. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a, a massive fight. Killing after time is one of the biggest things. You see teams a lot of the time, they don't they don't wait that extra second when it goes down to zero to try to get they just want to get make sure they get the kill. Because that's obviously the round priority, but it's not just a little insult to kill him after time. It's real impact. Yeah, it's real, real big impact. It's, it really can screw your economy up. So that's a round on the board thanks to Chopper and Shiro. Donk and Zontix. It's not often they're three rounds into a game and they have zero kills. Oh my god, they're human. No, we don't know that for sure yet. <laughs> the tests are still inconclusive. But... A little change in the A play. We get Shiro and Donk. Jesus, what a duo to try and get past. And you want that A site? Well, you're bound to meet your maker. Yeah, it is a pretty sweet combo for overpass, actually. Donk, here's the fallback. Grim, he's still very aware of the threat. Ooh, that's Donk nice from down. Grim. That's good awareness from Grim. I mean, this is a, a demo kill. The two demo kills in the setup, right? Uh, they know they're coming in from the left, and there's a flash that comes in from the A side on long to make Donk be able to walk back without alerting anybody. It sounds like they're scared. Chopper and now they can ready. put one on the side. Chopper's here. Yes, sir. Going for it, but going down empty-handed. It is the first from Zontix and the only from Zontix. A great response out of complexity. The demo kill, right? High anticipation of there being two players to the left side of Bathroom's door. And, the, and they, they try to throw the smoke screen of having somebody from the site flash, so it seems like you're trying to escort second player back from long. But... Uh, all they do is sit and wait on the angles because, yeah, they're aware of it. This doesn't really happen, I think, unless without actually pushing out, unless you know it from a demo. Because they haven't played against each other, so yeah. good sign of preparation here for complexity, of course. I'm not surprised to see that. They are a very anti-strat heavy team. Good on executing on it. I think Elise, JT, and TC all are fans of that. Very sharp shots as well from Elise and from Grim. Two players that took off on overpass last time the team was in the server on it. I think two players who individually on overpass have always found success, even regardless of now being on the same squad. So for them to join forces, I feel like they are really the best of North American overpass players. Besides NRG. Who? The team that beat Liquid. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, you mean M80? Was it M80? Yeah, it was M80. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> NRG don't win. <laughs> I'm sorry. Only making fun of yourself, man. They're Canadians. I know. Yeah, anytime you hear a Canadian try to take credit, for liquid, just yeah. remind them.
That's me. Wait, what do you what do you yeah. mean? Just remind them. The I NRG is still a work in progress, and that's actually more Canadian. Oh right, yeah. You know, so, but we're working on it. We're getting there. Yeah, we're trying to get them all five on the same team. Maybe one day. Europeans don't know how how good they have it. Y'all got Polish cores rolling into Katowice. Yeah, you got, for real. You got Danes falling out the wazoo. Our best in-game leader is Danish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. And poor Team Spirit, their best weapon, a P250. They got a smoke still in the mix if they want to get weird, but a site is completely enveloped. This is a fantastic start for Complexity now. 4-1 up on the T side of Overpass. Showing that, again, Team Spirit may have incredible promise, but they're not perfect yet. Or maybe it's just a slow start to get everybody's hopes up. Pistols again to try and get something going, but it's a bloodbath on the front door of the bank. I mean, I think we probably see what you were looking for uh, in the Navi game, right? It's like... Yes, this is why I thought Navi confirmation that they should have yeah. taken this map. Yeah. I mean, some things are too obvious that uh, it doesn't matter how much arcane knowledge you have about the game, how much, like, anti-strat, whatever. Uh, it's facts are facts. <laughs> we, Regardless of how good you think teams here may or may not be on overpass, you know they're great on Mirage. So that's like, yeah. what are you doing there exactly? I will, I won't, I won't, I will, I, nope. I won't get it. So... What would you rather play? 91% win rate on Mirage versus Donk and Zontix pushing mid? Or this? Yeah. The choice was in your hands. Nope, our complexity are particularly good on well, this map too. Can make fools of even better teams. Laying it on thick early on. Elige for the entry, but ooh, nicely done, Chopper. He just mows down two players on the graffiti cross. Hulzerk's gonna have to grab that bomb in an instant. This barrage of utility comes out from heaven. There's all five players here. So at least you got targets to shoot back at. But Grim finds himself on his lonesome. Luckily for him, the flank's not quite in position, but he's got 26 HP. And when Donk has these kinds of moments, he goes hunting. There's his first. Took him six rounds, but he's got a frag. 26 ADR. Had to be a headshot, obviously, his first one. So. Not just on the board. Put up two. Yeah, when he did the spot, I actually don't know what he saw. If he saw, did he see them on I don't think no? so. Just heard everything, probably. Yeah, they did, they did run rampant. You could easily catch a flash doing that uh, if you get unlucky. But they don't get unlucky. Ooh, careful now. Dunk goes for a peek around Fountain, almost falls victim to the Elige boost in the smoke. But Dunk also doesn't waste time, doesn't float around whatsoever, and Shiro, in anticipation of another boost, decides to give up the angle, but he wasn't wrong. <laughs> they were gonna go for it. Little verticality on the approach here. They're gonna double molly down in connector, but CT's content to just play sights right now. Donk, having gone back, checked long. Oh man, I'm I'm so ready to watch this synergy take place to see if there's anything natural that comes up here. I love watching these combos. When I first started watching Shiro demos, it was, was Axile back on Gambit young, Youngsters, and it was Overpass. I watched the most because the way that they were playing it, I, I felt like everyone was gonna follow up and copy, and they were so good. And uh, the position has evolved, but not that much in CS2. Same fundamentals apply. But uh, this, this setup is already slightly atypical. I mean, well, outside of Divider, they already have their rotator in now on the back of the site. So they flash clear at the 30-second mark, and this is to make sure that it's not the A site. They're not setting up their CT smokes. So they know it's going to be a B play unless they're just going to walk up. They should, they should be rotating already, a little to be late. honest. But... Uh, they're not believing this for something. 20 seconds, playing Vertif Pro too much, boys. No one else is going to do this. <laughs> Can the two rock-solid defenders hold? Oh, Zontix. Awkward jump. Luckily, Magix will pick up slack. And they couldn't trade him. They, nope. they could not trade him at all. Were this, those flashes from heaven? Because it looked like he was blind, but they were too... 
That was stringy. Lots of time there for complexity, but no kills. No, I think that's the beauty of what Spirit will have on the CT side, is you're just banking on Zontix and Magix, two great anchors. Yeah. And in a bomb site like Overpass, man, they're going to combine very nicely. Yeah, but um, it wasn't a it wasn't a CT flash that, that caught them both, right? It must have been a... Oh, I guess it helped that Zon uh, Magix wasn't blind at all. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. I see, I see that all from Zontix's POV. So, that'll be a round lead here for Complexity. But with no money, coming off a loss. At least Donk only has one kill. For now. Yeah. Usually doesn't stay the case for long. He'll try again on Fountain, taking his fight, but missed shot. <laughs> Damn, visually frustrated as well. Yeah. Like, buddy, now you know how everybody else feels. Shiro, he's gonna pick up the slack with the Elise frag. So at least you're going star for star. I wonder how fast he would quit if he just had to like, uh... Play. He just played normally, <laughs> right? Yeah, he was just a, a normal guy. If he had the talent of everybody else, he doesn't know what it's like to get out of. <clears throat> he doesn't know what it's like to get out. I'm of... trying so hard. <laughs> he doesn't know what it's like to get out of bed like a normie. He doesn't understand our struggle. Doesn't know what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. Mm -mm. He's never been in that club in Overpass. Ain't got time for that. Or an ID. Fair. Or the stature to fake it. Here we go. Long peek into Chopper, who has been good. Has held his own. Oh, here's it coming. Oh, how mean second kill out of Chopper. 30 seconds to the clock. He said, he said, Donk, just chill, That's baby. It. You don't I don't even need you sometimes. Elzerk smokes himself off and then decides to push through with the frag, catching magics off, but we've got Shiro locked in on truck. Elzerk, uh-oh. Oh, man. That's a flash from down beneath. Elzerk tries to close the gap. He gets the headshot he needs, switching over to the AWP, but that flank, he saw the flash come from the B site, but Zontix instead goes connector, and that'll seal the deal. Oh my God! Wait, he he flashed and went up and went up con, right? Did he yes. flash from B site? Yes. That flash nearly won the round for Shiro right there. Came down to Zontix, but good support anyways from the B site with that one. Nearly worked out perfectly, and all good attempts from uh, Halzerk as well to get through that smoke. Really had to force his way in, but uh, his off play nearly saved it after Chopper picked up that second kill. It, beautiful multi frags for more than just one or two people here on spirit Zontix get look at this look at this yeah I think it's just because like you know how many kills you could get you know what I mean it's yeah, just yeah, yeah it's a great chance but he'll go back at it eats a flash Elise gonna try to tech nine him down but donk leans back towards bathrooms here's the connector player running up as well so this Shiro, Chopper, Donk trio just decide to forego all the bathrooms control. You know Tech Nines are coming at you. You don't want to give away the guns. You've been scared off of your front-facing setup. So find comfort in your sight. Home is where the site is. Home is where you can plant the bomb. Oh, what, what, what did Grim do wrong? <laughs> Two kills, both grim. This was unnecessary un and uncalled for. I don't even know what. I don't think Grim even made a step. No audible. Maybe we just shouted something at him. Zontic can lock into barrels comfortably here with magics. I feel like the two of them have done a good job on the B defense. So even if all these tech nines come knocking, they've got one smoke to presumably put up in heaven. Floppy shows a little skin. That's the early warning sign for the others. But he's got a nice comfort zone in barrels. Goes for the fight again. 
and Sploppy on the reload. Things could get sketchy. Ali, she picked up a nice clean opening kill, and sure enough, both original defenders get nothing. So the damage is pretty substantial. Oh, but the wall bangs off the mark. Luckily, oh. Kong will stop it. Must have pressed out through the heaven smoke. Uh, Shiro to the P2000, just gonna chase down a liege. Bro. And he gets the job done. Donk and Shiro, not gonna give him anything more. He just creates timing, because he just knows when he can get away with aggressive things quickly. And he does them, <laughs> again, through the smoke. Perfect moment, so. Another easy one for Team Spirit, honestly. Their games are, are pretty short overall. It's just because the aggression that they play with, but also, and even on an overpass, a map that can feel miles across sometimes. What's Donk do here? Yeah, he oh, just finds that little. Just point. literally phased it. I mean, and stop the plant. Great attempt for the Tech Nines. Sometimes it looks lucky when someone can push through a smoke, get a kill. But when you try to like cross-examine that with his stats, it, it just doesn't add up. He's uh, very consistent with everything that he does and gets away with. Does it very confidently too. Now you gotta hold your smoke the whole time. Because he can push through. Why even buy the smoke anymore? Leave it in the store. It's too tempting. We haven't seen much inside of connector defense out of spirit, but Chopper's gonna take up position and kinda operate very much on his own here. Leaving Donk on A site. They wanted Shiro B to start. We got a fight around towards monsters, some spam through the smoke, but nothing to come of it just yet. Full middle of the map control here. From Spirit, I mean, they still have locked on to Con. They don't have short push, so... This is a pretty risky setup, actually, for Chopper if he is going to be approached. The fact that he's not going to be approached is just simply massive for Team Spirit right now. So 40 seconds comes up, and he can instantly flank. They still only have one on the A site, but he's already working up towards this. Oh, oh okay, all right. So they're holding for it. That's good. Donk off the flashbang gets his. No trade frag instantly out of complexity. Utility getting laid on thick, and Donk still just operating in the middle of it all. But Elysia's nade will find him. So the utility here dismantles the A site. A little spam damage going both ways. Complexity given a chance to squeeze into the A bomb site. For the first time, they don't see anybody in bathrooms. They don't get that Shiro presence. And with it, Complexity going to tie this game up. Yeah, I'd say I'd say the thing that's separating them is they're like a little bit slow with what to do with the information when they've had it a couple of times now for for Spirit. Um, they haven't made the full rotations. They still got away with winning in, in rounds where they didn't have the full in, that they had the information but didn't know when to rotate because they're like you said individual anchors. But that is that is something that should help out complexity here on Overpass. They won't make that mistake. The rotations are much better than Spirits on CT side. But they have also let Spirit get five rounds here on theirs. Which isn't technically a lot. But it might be a lot if you witness what we witnessed on last map. Might feel like a lot. Might feel like a way better complexity here. Good. A welcome sign. I also just haven't had these like godlike moments out of Donk either. Even in that last round, given a second duel, it's not the instant headshot when so often it is with him. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Any round Donk doesn't get two kills feels off for some reason. But there is still time for him to turn it up here. Two more rounds to go in Spirit's defense, trying to hang on in what was a pretty unknown entity of Overpass. God, those nades. Huge damage. Nicely done. A second round where Shiro's positioned at B to start it off. And 
Ooh, Chopper this time wasn't actually given a fight in Khan last round. Had to go up towards Party where he eventually got caught and died empty-handed. So to be already in the kill feed with one, it's an improvement. Meanwhile, Magic's down to 10 health. Shiro sitting on 16. Chopper taking some damage too off a of utility, and they're going to throw the boost up on the little health that's left. Good idea. Perfectly timed. He gets away with it. Just as they're peeling time off the clock, trying to hunt down this guy inside a con, they're working on new ideas. Now, they did do a two-man boost in CT. So they could actually surmise that there's, first of all, this is a timing on Monster for complexity. If they want to look for it, they're holding on the short push as well, and there's a kill. Sontic's so, peeking yeah. into the scope. They find, the, they find the timing here on Monster. They're going to walk out now. It's looking like a comfortable spot for Cole, even if there is a CT close, but it's Donk with 100 HP and his teammates already nearly dead. Donk's trying to serve up distractions. Catches a liege. Big scalp. Missed shot from Halzerk. That's both T's confirmed. And Donk coming up from ramp just flushes JT into the waiting hands of Magix. Halzerk gonna peek out. Oh. Miss chance on Magix, who's oh. not even looking. Hands busy. Three whiffs. Oh. And he goes down as Spirit take the lead. Oh, calm down. Oh, Summit. Just... You gotta hit those. The monitor? What'd he do? I don't know. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Oh, I didn't see his camera. Be careful with all this stuff, man. It's not free. I'm not paying for it, but... The first one on Zontix was good. It's what got the players into the bomb site, but that missed shot on Magix is defuse. Ooh, almost. Yeah. Almost. It's been a lot of frustration. It's obviously also... It's also not... It's not going to help. Stab a liege in the back as you fall down ladder. Yeah, it's also not just because of this one event. It's It's been an accumulation here for complexity. Tough couple months. And Counter-Strike doesn't get easier. It gets harder. They're couple. very powerful winds bl blowing these days. Yeah, a couple teams in that painful boat at the moment. Think of complexity, think of big. Seeing storylines and teams come together and have an uptick and you're just in the opposite trend. It can be tough to stomach. Can't help but sympathize for Halzerk, but competition demands the very best. Yeah. Shiro, nice deep angle on bathrooms, gets given a gift in Grim. It's a 5v3 for Spirit to comfortably finish off the half with, so it seems. It's still five rounds complexity on the T side, but a pistol could quickly change the tide, and we don't know really what Spirit are going to get up to on that offense. What I do guarantee you is Donk's going to start swinging. Yeah. He's been somewhat muzzled, but there's an example of what he can do. Instant yeah, headshot to Halzerk. Floppy, beautiful oh. double kill, but Shiro's still in the sight, and poor Floppy gets left on a single point of HP. So Team Spirit... Figuring it out, locking in a couple B holds, and Floppy on the approach is about to get picked by all three. Seven seconds, not going to be enough for him to work. Seven rounds for Spirit, and the question is, can they push over Complexity 2-0? Can they lock in the Spodek as quick as can be?
Well, it's not quite the stomp that we had back on Ancient, and by the tail end of this first half on Overpass, we did get a moment or two of Donk. We saw that instant headshot in bathrooms to close out the half, but we saw the frustrations of complexity mounting. It feels like they didn't get as many as they wanted here on their map choice, but at least we've seen plenty of CT sides from complexity on Overpass in the past. And that's something that they'll be looking to tap into to try to hold Spirit back and not allow them to hop over them on their road to the Spodek. I really, I really do recommend everyone watch that Jam, Jam video on um, Donk because he shows like both POVs, him and his opponents, or you can just watch any Donk demo really. They're, they're full of them. You, you just go and watch his opponent as they get one bulleted and you see because his cross replacement's so good, the counter strafe is so good, the um, the accuracy is so, it's just so perfect with him that you don't have a chance to shoot back. You cannot shoot back. Oof. Good flashbang from Magic. Sets up Donk wonderfully. He goes through the barrels. Oh, no, Cole. Just stopped by Donk. No way. Perfect pathing. All three frags. You know, he felt so muzzled on the CT side. Yeah. He, a couple times we saw him go for those fountain swings, you know, very Donk-esque, and he actually missed shots. He got mad. <laughs> right? He was, getting, he was getting upset that he wasn't getting kills as easily as he wanted. But now you put him on T side and look what he posts in his first endeavor into the B site, three kills deep and Holzerk tasked to clutch. He's got a low HP chopper down beneath him. The guys on site won't move a muscle. <laughs> Holzerk trying to get it going, but not gonna happen. It is Spirit right in with the second pistol win. Yeah, he, yeah, it's like, uh, like you said, waiting for the T side so he can flourish, take things into his own hands. Um, yeah. live that back but um frustrating situation up there for Halzer and for complexity as a whole but yeah complexity going to allow this one to slide by That'll be the 9-5 score they'll attempt to come back from. B-Site completely clear, ready for the taking. Already in anticipation of a flank as well. Really has been a pleasure to watch this spirit camp just kind of <laughs> find their groove. You know, I think each of their players just does their role so well, and that means that the sky really is the limit for Team Spirit. In Katowice, I think they've genuinely played some of the best Counter-Strike as a team Structurally, we've the seen. Composition is absolutely perfect structurally. Right? I mean, in terms of the balance of ego, fresh talent, roles, experience, and aim, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's hitting that right now like Team Spirit are. Yep. They're, they're all extremely hungry for results, whether that's Shiro looking to do it with a new team who still hasn't had enough in his own career overall for the amount of individual accolades that he's received. Chopper as an IGL for the same reason. Magix, who's been riding with Spirit for a long time now. Yes. And is ready to be a veteran support player on a team that he was like a core aimer for. We now can really hand over some of that space easily, happily over to Donk and Zontix, who are two killers. They just got nothing to be scared of. They're coming from the Academy League. This is their first chance to do damage at Tier 1 events, and they're very excited to do it. I mean, it's really a dream. I think it's it's actually wonderful that Donk and Zontix are doing it together, right? Because you at least still have two pieces that have been side-by-side. -side. Two players that have come up together. And yes, Zontix is not quite a Donk, but they do definitely respect one you, another. You know what's funny about that? It's the Academy League. Zontix was better than Donk. And uh, as, as in terms of who was going to come come up and be better next it was definitely supposed to be uh, Zontix younger but not because Zontix was like um, like on the same level as like head trick or something like that but uh, it, it's just because Donk wasn't even a, one of the top players in the Academy League like he he got really good towards the end and then really took off afterwards but not till very late well, a welcome sight for the spirit squad a leash falls back off long, seeing a couple players jump around the corner. 
Complexity's first gun round, looking to shut it down, and that early B spam was good enough to drop Sontix to 20 HP. But they've foregone all of long. They've rotated third player up here, Complexity. And they'll lay a smoke down ahead of the long commitment, but we do have a three-player cohort working down through bathrooms. Grim is going to be tasked with trying to stop it before it hits the site. But they may just circumvent him by coming out from bathrooms. Elyse is going to have to give pretty important cover here. Zontix goes down. Here comes Elyse. Can't manage a multi-frag. And in the middle of that, Halzer got killed. So then instantly, oh, JT damn. gets dropped. It's Magic's double that really takes it up a notch. Magic's, in fact, coming through with all four of those frags. Somehow, oh, some way. Each time they tried to face out into the bathrooms, Magic's collects them. Just one more challenger. That is crazy. How did Magix kill Grim, who was pushed up on Banana? I have no idea. I, I, I just can't even visualize how Magix gets that deepest kill, but I suppose he went wide on the smoke grenade and just lines them all up. And, you know, you just touched on it briefly. Magix was once upon a time, you know, very much in the Donk slash Zontic situation, right? Young player, the amount of the years of experience that Magix has already with Spirit, yeah. In major playoffs at his age. Yeah, and he's been so, he's always been so like humble and chilling. Oh, Magix comes out here. That makes way more sense. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he was the long player. Yeah, still sort of a, like a very narrow shot to the back, and yeah. I mean just beautiful protocols right there, like entry pathing, what he's clearing, who he's covering, and everyone exploded at the exact right time. I mean that was the long player coming out yes. at the same time. Both of them from bathrooms, outside of bathrooms, no one is basically shooting directly at him, and he's taking them all out. I think that first kill is the one that confuses me just because Halzerk's the rotator in, right? Halzerk exposing himself to bathroom's door on the side of dice box when a liege was still tucked in, despite being the player in front of him. So Magix unravels it all from the back line, then kills those close up. And Team Spirit, sensing blood in the water, just try to crank the dial into the B play this time. At a minute 25, already the rumblings of the B-site falling. Donk here to trade. JT just trying to keep his head down, but you can't hide from Donk. Two pistols left here to stop Spirit from getting to their 11th. The connector player toppled as Magix keeps it clean, having himself a hell of a second map. Trying to hold off Donk as the top fragger of this server, but that's a guaranteed 11th. Two rounds away from Team Spirit in the Spodek. Oh yeah, wow, it's been such a quick game. It really just, this feels like some kind of bonus match. Like, it, it hasn't even, it was actually a very good start for complexity. Like, this is five rounds, it feels like so long ago. Especially with how fast Ancient went as well. You're just thinking like, okay, Overpass gonna be stronger, more comprehensive. Wait, is there a chance that he can defuse? He has no kit, right? Not no kit. That would've been cute. He'll send him scrambling back in. Revenge on Dunk will feel nice, I think. No, probably not, actually. Won't matter. Team Spirit with 11. Looking at the Spo deck. Dunk and the goddamn Spo deck. Yeah. In his first Katowice attendance as well. You know, when we look at a list of superstar players, oppers or riflers, it takes some of them a long time to get into that coveted arena. Zaiwu on his fifth attempt. Nico on his first, but just shy of top six. Donk, first try. Mm. First run. And he's not doing it by being carried by a team. He is simply at the top of this board each and every time. Yeah, definitely bringing, uh, bringing spirit there just as much as they're bringing him. That's a team part, I guess. 100%, you know, and inspired by the likes of Monacy, who last year put his banner in the Hall of Heroes. Yeah, it was an amazing event by him, by. And also, that would be incredible to be able to see him, Donk, go up against each other. It's two of the youngest players. Monacy trying to defend his title as the returning Katowice champions. And G2, with a little struggle, Maybe let Spirit have the edge. We've got JT in the B site, empty-handed. Zontix decides enough's enough. Double kill 
in the opening round, and we can just see Team Spirit at this point, like, just laying it on thick, taking every fight, winning every duel, and getting right back to the groove that happened back on Ancient, right? Yeah. In the first, in the first 12 with complexity on the T side, it didn't feel like the first map of the series, but no longer held back by the shackles of defense. Look at him go. I mean, this, I don't think this has kicked in, really, for complexity. It hasn't for me. It's just been such a blur how quickly this has gone by, how easy it's looked for Team Spirit. Some of the calls that are being made are just going off so flawlessly. There's not even time to analyze what how faulty they were, where it could have gone wrong. We're moving on to the next round. It's another rush. It's something quick. It's something donk-based. But it's never... It's never something random. There's, there's always thought behind it. Elise did give him some credit for that, saying that like a lot of this is Chopper improving as an IGL on top of having Donk and really good pieces to work with, now Shiro to work with. But the fact that we're not talking about Shiro every round, I barely said his name, yeah. which is incredible. I mean, that kind of shows you that he has really fit into this, into this lineup like a sock. Easy. Like, if they put Shiro in, no problem. He's hitting his shots. He's opting for the roster. It's still Donk's actually up front, so he's taking a lot of the, you know, a lot of the credit because the rounds are ending on the first kills. If he's successful, and he is a lot, yep. so that's fine. And then you have Sh you have Shiro when they need him, one of the best clutch players in history and already, and at Canavite specifically, and then also is going to pick up his fair share of kills no matter what part of the game you're in. And here we have it, 23 rounds, potentially. Safe to say it was an excellent choice from Shiro to join this team, as all the rules make sense. That's the potential. Oh my so God. real. Look at that. You cannot shoot back. There is no chance. You didn't even get a chance to click. Oh. Look at that. Every time you face this kid, he takes your head clean off. There's no one else you can consistently... Set. That is the kind of praise you give to Nico, that you consistently send him out to hunt down oppers with a rifle. And then Zontix shows you that he's also got that special something. A clean headshot here to add to Donk's tally at the same time as being the one who went into that B-site last round. Finally, a chance to shoot back at him, but it still costs Grim 80 health. We've got Floppy down to B and Complexity desperate that maybe Team Spirit just walk into the wrong bomb site, but it's Shiro, Zontix, and Chopper looking to close this, playing some of the best Counter-Strike that we have seen so far at IEM Katowice. Cannot wait to see what their next competition is going to be. Who are going to stop them? Who will humble Donk? Who can? Who possibly could? We get Floppy coming around looking for something to pull on. Shiro, though, we just said, here to close. After Donk and Zontix get it started, wow. look at this. Look what holds the bomb site in the post plant. A follow-up chance for Grim. Desperate, as has Complexity been this entire series, never even had a chance to stop this hype train because Team Spirit have guaranteed it they are going to the Spodek. Incredible scenes to see players this young with so much promise in a formula that simply makes so much sense leave this much of an impact.